Ladies and gentlemen, how's it going? Once again, I'm Nev from Nev's TacBits. Today I want to be taking a look at this Lenovo ThinkBook i5, 10th generation, 14 inch IIL unit. This thing is so small, it's so cute, but it's so nice. And here's a banana for scale, because you gotta have the banana for scale. Let's take a look. So first off, let's take a look at what it looks like when we got too much light. You know, not so bad. We got a bit of an acid wash on it as a uh, post to mate so that definitely hides some fingerprints and everyone's always worried about the keyboard flex this thing was made with uh, an alloy i forget what it's called you'll have to forgive me it's the kind of plastic that feels like aluminum a certain kind of alloy i keep forgetting and everyone's always nice and leave it in the comments anyways interesting thing everyone's always worried the fbi or your mom is watching you through your webcam so it has a slide that's a real sign of our time kind of thing i've never been able to wrap my mind around that everyone always said oh you're just conspiracy theorists and now they throw this stuff on because of snowden and we don't talk about that that's interesting but it's changed the way we think we just know the fbi is watching fbi NBA, whatever. Anyways, looks like it's going to be relatively easy to get in here. We got Phillips head screws all the way around over here on this side. We have a USB spot that you can put just a little tab thingy for your Wi-Fi wireless mouse. It's great for that, for having a wireless mouse. Just perfect. Anyways, um, over here we got SD card. We got power. We got USB. Over here on, on the other side, over on yaw, we have a headset, a single headset a reboot button if you need to get to the bias you have to hit that button i believe a hard drive light gotta have hard drive light and power two USB C, usb hdmi and that is where you put your cat 5 it's kind of sneaky when they try to get rid of cat 5 cat 5 ethernet you know you know exactly what i'm talking about but anyways it's a really nice unit about keyboard flex it doesn't really feel like there is much it looks and feels like it's aluminum it definitely isn't but yeah, a little bit of keyboard flex. I don't know who, who's actually worried about keyboard fl flex or bezels. If you're worried about that stuff, you probably make like 8 million more times money than I do. And you can afford all kinds of great systems. But bezels, really? I had a guy complain to me that his bezels were too big. Like on his monitor. Seriously, kid? Get to work. Anyways. So, let's take a look at uh, what we can expect out of this unit. I should say, I've had this thing on just to download, and we have had a little bit of heat here. If I can find my infrared camera, or my thermal camera, I will have a look at it. And it looks like I just disabled my mouse accidentally. Yippee! Function F6. There, it's back. Anyways, let's give this thing a benchmark. Let's take a look at what it's capable of, and let's get down to it, folks. All right, that looks like eight cores, Core i5 at one gigahertz, and Intel HUD graphics. So we're not going to be getting away with a lot on this. I really wonder if we're going to be able to reach DirectX 12, and that's required to run Fortnite. Everybody's worried about, will it run Fortnite on any of these videos I make? If you're ever wondering why I play video games on these, everybody's asking on these videos what they can do in video games. But yeah, next up, let's get to the uh, benchmark. Once again, this benchmark is brought to you by Passmark Benchmark 10. Let's give this thing a scoot, shall we? Now, one thing I gotta say about this laptop, it's definitely really light. I mean, in 1998, when I was walking around with, I think it was a Compaq Armada, that thing was heavy. And once you got to school, man, every every few steps you got, you just got a little heavier, that's for sure. This is uh, really light, I don't even think it's two pounds. I don't even think it's two pounds. And uh, kids these days don't know how well they have it. So I'm going to come back when we get onto uh, the graphics resolution bit on the. Okay, DirectX 9 starting off strongly. 21 frames per second. That's uh, on the high end. Able to reach our 1080p. DirectX 10 coming on strong at 7.9 frames per second. Once again, a relatively good contender. We're not uh, winning any huge prizes, but this is definitely capable. And here we're jumping to 20. That'll be the best we can get. I've seen a lot worse, though. Next up, we got DirectX 11. We're rocking out 10 to 17 frames per second right now. The question, of course, will it reach DirectX 12? DirectX 12, we're doing it. We're rocking out at uh, 13 frames per second. Not bad. Not bad at all. 
definitely a very capable system. Like, you're not going to win any prizes once again, but once again, very capable. Okay, that's a really powerful score. The only unit that I have quite as powerful as this, 2171, was what a ThinkPad 14, P14S Generation 1 got. P14s are pretty strong, and for 2519, uh, that was a score for an HP Z210 i7 that had a GTX 1030 in it. So, not bad, all things considered. And I'm not noticing any lag, it's... Uh, it's pretty solid, it's pretty slick. Alright, Grand Theft Auto 5 running about 31 frames per second, looking pretty good. Might not be full screen, but still, uh, we're pulling it off. Alright, get in there and make me some chicken tendies. Yeah, definitely very responsive. Getting about 31 frames a second now. Not bad, not bad, so it can actually do it. Now, if you want it in full screen, this isn't going to give you your best experience, of course. Okay, so here are the settings that Fortnite decided to automatically give me. 1080, 30 frames per second, 66% resolution, quality presets, basically all medium. So, uh, that's not bad. This is the kind of thing you want to get a kid for gaming, or maybe just a little gaming of your own on the side. This will definitely support that. So with these settings, it definitely doesn't look as good as it does on my Xbox One. But still, let's get into this and see. Alright, so I'm definitely feeling some lag switching to hardwired, but I might have to wait until next round to see if that hardwired actually kicks in. Okay, I am hardwired up and I am definitely noticing some lag still, so once again, you will be able to pull off the video games on this, but um, just barely. You might want to take the options down a little bit. Some people may consider this to be unplayable, but still, not bad. I placed 12th. What can you say about that? Alright, so here's a look at the inside of the unit, and what we can find out pretty quickly is that it, uh, of course, there's a CPU fan, the pipe, over to the CPU and the GPU, the RAM's right in here. They don't give you any room uh, for upgrades in there. Over here, it looks like, a, is this a sticky pad? I think it's a sticky thermal pad. And I'm wondering if it's to be used in case you have a bigger SSD or if it's used to cool something directly beneath it. I'm really curious about that. Look how cute these speakers are. Look how cute. They're so small. They are so small. And uh, right over here, we have the Wi-Fi. And interestingly enough, they got a little chunk of plastic hanging out just over top of it. I wonder if that's to make sure that this covering doesn't conduct anything. I kind of wonder a little bit about this covering. Maybe that covering is there to cool things off, or maybe it's there to prevent electromagnetic uh, discharge of some sort. And it looks as if... Yeah, you can hook up another drive, another SATA drive to that unit if you want. So, that's it in a nutshell, ladies and gentlemen. What you see is what you get. Definitely a capable unit for the times, and uh, if you're going in lockup, this can be really used. You get a 10 ter or a 1 terabyte dry hard drive in here and do uh, lots of work with no problems. Anyways, ladies and gentlemen, that's it for me. Nev from Nev's Tech, but it's like and subscribe if you like this stuff. It's always appreciated, folks. And as always, take care of each other.